Hey, it's the day before the Arkansas Derby. We're here with Jinx Fires at uh, Oklahoma Park Barnyard. And uh, Jinx is uh, semi-retired after this meet's over. He's going to keep some horses down here on the training center, but we're going to miss him in Kentucky. But uh, we want to we want to get a have a chat with him while we're down here. And uh, Jinx, thanks for being on. And uh, a couple things I was going to ask you. Uh, well, what was it like winning the Arkansas Derby with our Charge Charge? It was it was a great feeling, and uh, it was really good because this is my hometown, you know, and I also won it for the, the people from Arkansas. That was good also, but, you know, I would like to want it for anyone. Yeah. Well, I tell you, uh, 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 everybody was rooting for you, and then of course you went to the Derby and uh, and all that. But that it was good. It was good to see. Of course, that didn't pan out. But uh, I tell you, winning the Arkansas Derby, that's that, that's got to be a big thrill. It was a big thrill. Yeah. And uh, uh, now I, I remember you uh, before you trained horses, and uh, and you were working for Doug Davis. You were yeah. you were an assistant for Doug Davis, and. Uh, I remember Keenan, you were stable up on the hill, and I remember you had a dog that climb a tree, and when I say climb a tree, he'd get way up in that thing. Yeah, that's and, true. Uh, I, I, I don't know why that comes to mind right now, but it but it does. But, Cat, uh, Catahoula, it was very unusual. People used to come he'd by. He'd get up there and bark like crazy, wouldn't he? And, and Doug Davis would ask me to send a dog up the tree, and that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. So he would, if I told him to go up there, he would go up, and he'd go way out on those limbs. Yeah, I'll tell you, uh, you're not the you're not the only trainer thinking about kind of getting out of the game right now, you know, with uh, all this medication stuff and all the hoops you got to jump through now. Uh, the game's kind of taking a taking a turn. I don't want to say for the worse, but in some ways it is. But uh, uh, you know, I, I, I'm kind of a pro LASIK guy myself. I think we ought to be using it. And then uh, now they got these vets, got to tell you tell you when you can work your horse and everything. But uh, but anyway, the game's changing and. Uh, and uh, I was going to ask you what you thought about the game right now. Well, I, I agree with you 100%. We need LASIK. We have to have it. I mean, they, they're they making rumors like they think that LASIK breaks down horses. It does not break them down. No, no that's not right what, at all. What's going to really happen one day, it's going to be a horse bleed so bad it's going to fall in front of a bunch of riders. When they when they bleed real bad, they can't breathe. Right. And they're gonna fall in front of a bunch of riders, and boys are gonna get hurt. And uh, maybe it's some horses too, but it's just not a good thing not to yeah, have horses. I, I, I just I just uh, I, I just don't quite get it. Uh, I don't either. I think you know we're I think we're just kind of cowing down the PETA just a little bit too much, yeah. or we should be standing up to them. Yes. Yeah, but that's another story we won't get into. I think but, it's political football, but I think Lacey is. Yeah. Uh, you going to win any races this weekend? You got anything running? I have one running today. In fact, uh, she's trained well. I kind of missed some time with her because she had a uh, she had a little had to do a little surgery on her earlier. And she had to kind of back off for a while. Yeah. Well, Jinx, uh, we sure want to uh, thank you for being on Indian Charlie TV and wish you the best and hope you keep in touch. Thank you very much. Do a good job. Thanks, Jinx.